Hi, everybody. I'm, yeah. I'm Kimberly. Kitchen's friend. Welcome to my kitchen. Hey, here. Sure. We're gonna make candy because it's the holidays. And Amanda makes candies. I do. I today's I guess it's not really candy candy. I mean it's fudge. Fudge and coffee. Yeah, coffee. It's, it's confectionery. Confectionery day. It's our it's confectionery. It's true. It's not. <laughs> yeah. And it's not baked. It's cooked. Yeah. Basically speaking, it's cooked on the stove. So that is our steak. Base, we're basically making steaks. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So welcome and happy holiday season, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Happy Hanukkah. Tomorrow should you celebrate that? Well, technically, isn't it tonight? No, tomorrow at, mid at midnight. At midnight. Oh, okay. I thought for some reason tonight was the first one, and then tomorrow's the first full day. Oh, and the yeah, reason I'm exactly saying that is because I think I got it wrong recently and was corrected. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. 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 Everybody. Everyone says first day of Hanukkah. Which then I get confused because you're right. It's the night before. Yes, yes. Which I just got educated. Okay. I have to go up into my closet and get my candles out. <laughs> Think I still have some from last year. Oh yeah. Okay. Our our baby in the chat. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We now we discuss. Quick announcement to make in case you missed yesterday's crowd work or haven't been on Discord or lived under a rock a little bit. You know, the last twelve, the twenty-four last hours. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ask what you're cooking today, Kimberly, but you kind of spilled the beans. Yes. Right. <laughs> I have a bun in the oven, as it were. Um, I currently have a uh, luncher baby, is what I keep calling it. Cute. That's really cute. They can't tell. <laughs> but it's hard, so I think it's a bit. I think it might be. Yeah. Um, yeah, so welcome to the first I Don't Have to Keep a Secret stream. Yay! Now if you get tired or have to pee, there are a few <laughs> times where I'm just like, I need to sit down now. Because <laughs> I've been tough. Yep, yep. Um, but I'm less tired these days. Nice. It is nice. Yeah. Um, You're a champion. You've been doing great. Thank you. I am very impressed with you. <laughs> Streaming. No, not kidding, actually. Just, there were a few days where it wasn't fun. <laughs> I was just like, I gotta go. Pregnant can be difficult. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. I feel very lucky that mine is not too bad. Yeah. But, you know, it's weird. <laughs> There's all sorts of weird feelings yeah. in and around your whole body. That you're just like, is this related to the baby that's inside of me? Or did I sleep weird? Just, yeah. <laughs> like, my hips have been hurting, and I'm just like, is this baby hips hurting? Or, like, have I just not gone to Pilates in a month? Center of weight, right? Like, the weight yeah. you're carrying your weight. So that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that would mess with my hips. And um, I haven't really been working out. I talked about it in therapy today. That I'm just going to feel a little stationary. I can understand that. That must be. And um, yeah, Crispy, I saw your text about Crispy Schmidt. Crispy Schmidt. It was very cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but also, I was sitting like crisscross applesauce today in therapy. Oh, yeah. And then I got up and I was like, oh, that oh, was no, wrong. No. That was bad. I mean, so. my favorite physical therapy exercise from my back injury oh. is where you do like, so kneeling on the floor. Yeah. Uh, so, like, at a really good reach. Like, uh, no, actually. So it's it's different than that. It's actually more subtle, but it gets deeper. So you're here, and you do like a really, really subtle lean, mm -hmm. and you just go straight, and it goes... <laughs> it's so, so my favorite. So I enjoy right. recommend it. I'm also like weirdly sore today, as though I had been doing ab workouts. Well, that's really ab events. No, I think your abs do get a workout, because you're having to like stretch and accommodate and, they and lift. Oh. It is also... Just if any other moms out there have had grew up with body image issues, um, the idea of not of being aware that you're pooching out a little bit, yeah, and trying can't suck. And like my initial instinct every time was like, like bring it in if while you're out, and I'm like, no, <laughs> it's the weirdest feeling in the yeah, world. I uh... to be like actively like stomach out, <laughs> it out for the world to see. Yeah. It's very strange. Shocking, I have not had a chance to try on the hoodie yet because I we left crowd work, went out to dinner with Jay's and Uncle, and then we both came home and fell asleep. I mean, but it looks like it fits and it's also very cozy. It is, feels real nice. Been over what? under on how many times Jay almost dropped baby hints. I'm waiting. You're not gonna watch. I have yeah. no idea. Or Shadow King said he heard, but a thousand percent there was one time where like we discussed it and he hadn't muted his mic. I went on like a bathroom break or something. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 
Anyway, hey everybody, we're here. We're going to do some confectionery baking. Kimberly's Hot coming in. It's very exciting. What? They missed the crowd work. Oh, yeah. Say congrats. I mean, check out the crowd work uh, YouTube video because it was quite a, a hoot, quite a special moment. It was really, really sweet. It was nice. nice. Everyone was very happy. Oh, my gosh. Christy, I'm Are we already thinking like, about it, and ready? I'm very nervous. I live in a small beach baby beach. shower. But wait, no, the one thing, the spoiler that almost, that no one caught, is last week when I flipped Charlotte. Oh, yes. I we stopped, and I was like, when I flipped Charlotte, the ultrasound was sitting behind Jay. <laughs> like, everyone could have seen I scrubbed the thing, and I and I couldn't find it. Okay, great. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> the Prince Bunny. That's very cute. I did not anticipate that nickname. No, but and I like it a lot. Perfect. Yeah. And I feel like we're going to Maybe we'll just never tell you his name. Custom made little onesie, that Prince Bunny. Oh, you get little hobby ears. Hello, Luke. Hey, could someone like knit Jay's bunny ears? Oh, and like crochet him like a little King Bunny situation, like a bonnet. Guys, get on it. That's so cute. I don't know. <sighs> He's gonna have too many things. I have too many things. <laughs> I don't know where we're putting his things right now. I have yeah. a basket full of the stuff that people have already given us or that I've purchased. Mm -hmm. Um, this right up. I can show you all later. It's already full. Yeah. <laughs> so I have no idea. It wasn't until four hours later I realized why Adam said they'd been working on the surprise J baby for four months. <laughs> Clever. Yeah. Also, he's quite mad at Adam. I didn't even realize I was four months pregnant, but that oh, I'm sure he thought about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 14 weeks. That's four Will months. Will you share a baby registry with the peaches? That is the plan. Yeah. I'm bullying her into doing it. What do you think is easiest? Should I just like. I don't know. Make make like an Amazon or ba buy baby bye bye baby bye 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 baby. Baby. Baby, baby, baby bye 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 uh, bye registry and then just like share a link. I know. Well, I started one on Amazon and Baby List. Tell me if anyone's ever used Baby List and if you like it. I don't think I need no Baby List. Well, all registries give you a present <laughs> when you start one. That's nice. Only after you spend ten dollars. Rude. I'm not buying anything yet, and I was very superstitious and like not buying things for a little while, just to be safe. Yep. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's just in the preview P.O. box. That's true. You absolutely. Yeah. Um, register. There's this P.O. box to it. I mean, that is what we oh. do, I think. Yeah, like, maybe I should just do an Amazon one that goes to the P.O. box. That's exactly Because right. I think my other, like, my family stuff. Would come here. Or to my parents' house. Well, we didn't when we got married, is everything got sent to my parents. Yeah. And then, oh, some stuff I think came here. But I think a lot of stuff went to my parents and then they brought it up all in one thing because mm -hmm. it felt weird to have the stuff before we were married. Oh, that's fair. And it's it like, also it's weird to have stuff before baby comes. Huh? It won't be weird to have stuff here before baby comes. I don't know what kind of things yeah. I'm okay with. Oh, fair. I don't know. There's like traditions on the Jewish side of my family yes, that are fair. very okay. like nothing comes in the house until the baby is here. Yes, yes, yes. And like your like mother-in-law basically like sets up the nursery for you while you're in the hospital. Which is very sweet. But then part of me is just like, but I want to deteriorate. So, I don't know. Time. We'll yeah. figure it out. Anyway. Look, so, also, I live in, we live in a very small apartment. So, we kind of need everything just to be like, this is what fits. Stop. Like, yeah. <laughs> X nay. Yep. We'll anyway, if everyone knows. <laughs> I don't know. I need to know everything, basically. Yeah. Uh, Pterodactyl onesie. Okay. Oh I mean. Thank you, Kimberly. Stinks. Jay's office is not becoming a nursery. We... <gasps> thank you for the resubscription. Oh, and Gary, thank you for the resubscription. Oh, Gary, too. Oh, and Christy oh, before. Christy. We missed all of these. Oh, oh, they're back? Yeah. yeah. We need the professional streamer button as well. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I still want to move to the one for this. Oh, thanks, man. Tomato, you're so oh, high. Um, yeah. Teach us how to have kids. <laughs> you know. Same. Just think about parenting. I feel like in this day and age, yeah. two things. One, obviously a lot of people do it. And two, we have access to a lot of people's, like, too many opinions. Sure, too many opinions, but also lots of hacks, lots of ways, lots of things to look up where you can, like, find little... True. I don't know. I, and then some things aren't safe, and then you have to, like... I follow a lot of safety people already because I'm, like... <laughs> I have anxiety. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Highlighted, there's a streamer-focused wish list service called The Throne that Jamie turned me on to. It keeps the address anonymous, but you can still ship stuff to your home. Oh, you. I think most registries keep addresses anonymous. I think they 
I think you can tell it to. Oh, you can tell it to. Okay. Yeah. I recently did uh, Jess's, and that's why I, because I have her address on it, so, like, she maybe just opted not to keep it private. I don't know. Like, I feel like for my wedding, it was, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Well, it could also be specific to the types of registries, like, the that's true. list of the registries. It's like, I started a few registries, and they're all private right now, that's and, like, amazing. don't have an address. Oh, Being that's a parent nice. is the greatest honor I can ever have in my life. Oh. Yeah, Jay's gonna be the sappiest little dad. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. No, oh, here's some wishes for stream snacks keeps it anonymous. Yeah, so I think Amazon keeps it anonymous. Okay, cool. Maybe bye bye butt bump. Bye bye, bye, bye baby. That I don't know. Bye oh, baby. Bye bye birdie. That's why we're trying it. What about Conrad as a name? Just kidding. Well, how cute to sing to a baby. I love you, Conrad. Oh, yes, you. So That's why I didn't immediately say no. Yeah. <laughs> the peaches have a gag of appearance in the next. That's you? true. I know. I've thought about, I have not mentioned this. Connor with a K. Oh, goodness. Um, I have not mentioned this to Jimmy or anyone yet out loud. Okay. But there was part of me that I was like, should we make like a peach parents section of the Discord? Oh, the Discord, a little channel? Yeah, probably. And just like. It's where you can share pa- parent anecdotes. Yeah, and people live with each other and be like, hey, my kid hated the Mavaru. You want it for free? Like. Like a, a Facebook buy nothing group? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. Because there is not a Discord for like pregnant women. Like how there's Reddits and like okay. what to expect and you're expecting. I keep looking it up. And when you look up Discord pregnancy, it's just a bunch of sex stuff. Oh, no. It's real weird. Because I'm like, I don't know what it is about Discord. But like pregnant women have not sought it out. So then I have thought about being like, well, what if I start my own server? And I'm just like. This is too much. I mean, that does potentially, maybe that's why. It's because that invites unwanted participants. Yeah. Oh, so maybe it's a section random. of, oh, this is a, a left turn, but I love it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever wanted to act in a silent film or silent play? I actually have acted in a silent film. Never a silent play. I've never I don't, heard I, of a silent play. I mean, I've done a silent scene, like a pantomime. I love that stuff. I think it's very interesting. But um, it is. I thought that too good. Uh, yeah, I did like a, a Love in the Time of Quarantine, actually. It was a little short film during COVID. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, it was one of Jim's and my sort of special Cute. things with one of the specials we did. And uh, it was, it, I wore like a really, I have this like what I call my sexy funeral dress. It's like lacy turtleneck. Oh, yeah. It was like Morticia Adams. It's very like tight black. And I had this very like, it was all black and white. And so it was very like maudlin. And I was... It was kind of fun, and then it was uh, done through a filter that made it all, like, crackly and then tiny. It was really cool. Kimberly, have you and Jay, or just you, thought about maybe the name of Christopher? No. I said Christopher as a joke last night, though, and so now we it can't be Christopher. It can't be. Well, and also Chris Schmidt. I feel like... Oh, it sounds like Christmas. Oh, that too. But also, like, a... Sh- yeah, no, the S... Yeah, we've been talking, because now I have the Fix-It Book of Baby <laughs> We were going through it. Yeah, all figures are Robin. That's cute. A 16 year old and a 10 year old are amazing, but I shine the best changing diapers and staying up all night carrying a baby in my arms. Oh, that's what we are the most <laughs> nervous about because we don't like to be tired. Oh, well, we are not good at being sleepy. Figured out. Just like, but I'm good at staying situation. awake. And I'm like, yeah, but then you're going to fall asleep. <laughs> anyway. That's when you just call upon help. Yeah, and I exactly. come over. I'm great at being tired. I'm, I excel at it. I'm very well practiced. Shao, Shao Khan, Shao Khan, Shao Khan. I don't know. I don't get the bit, Laxman. I'm so sorry. I have a feeling that parenthood <laughs> make you get good at being sleepy. Yeah, that's, that's what they what say. I'm always tired. <laughs> exactly right, Matthew. All right. Okay. Think Fudge needs to set. So we do one. Okay. 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 So this we're making fudge and toffee today. All right. And tell me where this recipe came from, Amanda, because you sent me a screenshot of a recipe card. I did. Uh, we want to do this one for fudge, right? Yeah. Okay. So this recipe, I growing up across the street, there was a family of two little boys. One of them was my age, and the other one was my older sister's age. And the parents were. I need to pay attention while I'm doing this. Okay. Mm-hmm. The parents were friends, so. They were the Jankowskis. They still are the Jankowskis. Uh, And we, Beth, would always make this. And every New Year's Eve, we would all get together, play, like, a raucous game of Pictionary and do, like, I know, oh, man. And we would would have her fudge. And it was always so good. And she finally shared the recipe with us. So then we started making it every year. 
and my mom was always excellent at it. This is the one cup, right? Mm-hmm. Right. One. Whoop. Three. This is four and a half cups of sugar. Okay. It is just jacking it. I'm going to do a little one half. Oh, that's nice. Um, Combined sugar, milk, butter. Do we have... Is it this whole thing? Yes, I believe so. Okay. It's 12 ounces, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so Beth always had this amazing fudge. We started making it. My mom was always really good at it. And then when I moved out here, I... And stopped... You know, I wasn't... When I wasn't able to go home for Christmas, I started trying to make it myself. And I have never successfully done it. And I don't know what I've done wrong. So I'm hoping that I've just gotten better. I haven't tried it in a few years, but what's happened in the past, it is, it's gone full goop. Like it just is this like soup of really yummy, tasty, you can take a spoon to it, but it just won't set properly. Um, I'm assuming, oh my gosh, Tom. Oh. Who's, oh, I'm not using name is Tom. Being so we can't do Tom. Um, anyway, so bottom line, I have never done this successfully and I'm hoping that today's the day. Um, the key is making sure we use all the proper ingredients. So she specified blue bonnet margarine. There is like all of these, like Nestle Toll House co uh, chocolate chip. Do you know how much? All of it. Uh, the, it's more than three quarters of a cup, or is that a stick? Actually, I gotta look that up. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, you can use me. Here's my phone. We'll go. Who can find it first? Who can find it first? One and three quarters, six, seven, and seven, 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 seven cup. Oh, Hilarious. Yes. So we're going to use the cup and we'll just do About a third or just like almost, do almost enough. Yeah. Okay. I think an eighth of a cup I can kind of eyeball. So anyway, uh, we are hoping today it goes well. It also does take some time to set. So we might not see happy set fudge by the end. We're going to do our darndest and then we're going to make some toffee, which we can kind of get creative with. This is a <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of elementary yeah. school named Kim. A boy. Rob. Oh, wait. Huh. Oh, just when I'm trying to cut down on sugar, this stream happens. Sorry. <laughs> that looks good. Not quite a cup. Not quite a cup. I can a spatula. Actually, yeah, that's going to be easiest. All right. So we're combining the sugar, milk, butter, and we're cooking it on medium heat until it gets to a rolling boil. And then we're trying to get it to, uh, and then reducing the heat, cooking six and a half to seven minutes. And I think the goal is softball stage from what well, can be the, the actual temp. Sugar temp um, fudge. So I don't know. We're going to find out what works. What happens? I hope. I hope Missionary experiments have shown that the ideal cooking temperature for fudge is between. 237 and 239. And is that softball? Yeah, because 300 is hardball. Oh, I did. I just wrote that for the toffee. That's oh. Okay, okay, I just need to see the thermometer because I broke the other one. Why is it? Oh, okay. Here, the bigger one. Yeah, that'll be easier. Thank you. Yeah, let me put Charlotte over there for you guys. I didn't have to turn down free cookies yesterday because they weren't sugar-free ones. That sounds sad. Sugar-free cookies. That does sound sad. I mean, I guess, so stevia is like a natural sweetener, right? So that yeah. would count as sugar. So you could... You don't really use like honey. monk fruit sweeteners. Oh, I have never tried I've heard of. You. No. Sure. Hmm. That's not like sugar and candy is specific. Yes, which like is not my specialty. We all know this, right? I'm chaos agent in the kitchen. I tend to not make anything the same way twice. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Absolutely. I know. I I've only ever used the uh, sticks of margarine, so I mean it did say just combine. That's true, because it'll melt. It'll melt. So it's I'm not too worried about it as of right now. I just need to make sure that the sugar wasn't... Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Who knows? Any thoughts on whether we stir? I feel like it's... it's You want to stir it so that they don't... Um, it doesn't... Um, 
Burn. Burn, right. Like the sugar doesn't want to sit on the bottom. Because then it will caramelize. So one video that I watched. Oh, come in, man. Ding, ding. Thank you for the follow. Hello. Hi. I legit had to turn up for the government. No, wiggle room. 239 to 237 to 239 is very specific. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. Okay, that's looking normal. Yeah, I was there. And it's on medium high heat. Sorry, that's doing my okay. So we let it get to a rolling boil. We're gonna keep an eye on it, and then we're gonna let it. Uh, we're gonna reduce the heat and do six and a half to seven minutes. Can you tell I'm nervous? I don't want to mess it up. But here's the thing: it's I'm really sick. Although the one time I tried to make fudge that wasn't like two ingredient fudge, yeah. it was basically like chocolate and sweetened condensed milk. <laughs> It also went terribly wrong. What? The opposite. It yeah. just turned into like a crumble, like it seized. Ooh. Interesting. Maybe yeah. chocolate overcooked. Maybe. Or yeah. got moisture in it. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. I just remember like sending a video to my grandma and I was like, um, this could work. And she was like, oh, I do the easy kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, Beth prides herself on the fudge. My older sister makes it every year now and she always does it perfectly. She's brilliant at it. And I've also made it on FaceTime with her before and it still didn't work. Yes. yes. So we'll see what happens. I don't think it is it an altitude thing? I have a feeling it's the heat. I or that it's the type of pan or something. So this is not a pan I've made it in before. Oh, what do you usually make it in? Uh I have not made it since I've lived with Adam. So I used to make it in one of my pans when I lived with Hannah and Libby. So maybe that's what I have anymore. I don't have any more. So that's just could be. Okay. We'll see. So anyway. Uh, we're going to try it today. We'll mm -hmm. see what happens. So basically, this cooks, and then we're going to remove it from heat, add some chocolate chips, some peanut butter, some marshmallow cream, which I can... Uh, and then we cool in cold water. So here's my question. What does it mean? It means put the pan down in cold water. Not so that the water gets into it. Yeah. But, like, so that it does a set thing. I don't think I have a pan. Well, what I was thinking is a scooper in there. Oh. And just do, like, a, a oh, little thing of water. Does that work? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, something. Oh my gosh, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, cold man. King. Thanks of you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Acorn followed. Thank you for the following. Acorn? Yeah. Acorn 0047. Acorn, that's the nickname of the baby in my apps. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. First time chat and a gift. Who are you? Ooh, Adam Ash is trying to make Aunt Sandra's Christmas candy. What kind of candy is it? Okay, right, so this is 16 ounces. And what do we need? We need 13 ounces. <laughs> Why? What am I going to do with three ounces of marshmallow fluff? Oh, I don't like marshmallow fluff. It's like tough. Oh. It's so sticky. It's very sticky. Mm -hmm. I'll handle it. I got you. Um, um, you want to, what's it called? Clement scale. Okay, so that's not a rolling boil yet. No, so we are getting close. No. No. Oh, so we're going back off at all. Maybe I have it. <laughs> right. Apparently, it's similar. Right? How do I. Oh, there's this light system. It's hot. What is this? It needs to be 240 ish. 239, yeah. Yeah. Okay. See how this goes. Very interested. Okay. Acorn says, oh, so cute. The chocolate covered peanut butter balls. Ooh, yum. I haven't made a peanut butter dessert in a while. I used to make a basically homemade Reese's. Oh. Which is like graham cracker butter, peanut butter, and then and sugar, powdered sugar. And then you like refrigerate it and uh -huh. then pour basically melted chocolate with peanut butter in it over the top. And then it's like a little square that you can cut. Oh, <laughs> really tasty. It's a very easy. Okay, so I've always, sorry, I paused, but you, <laughs> rolling obviously uh -huh. means it needs to start doing this undulation. Yes. Right. But all on the outside. Part. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like there's no bubbles in the middle yet. Right. So like this, is, you wouldn't put pasta in the water if it wasn't. Big bubbles. Rolling boil means very big bubbles that come all the way to the top. It's really I always put the hot in the water. 
Okay, I have a really funny moment with Hannah. So, okay, if you were here last week, you will remember that I went to chop some things and Kimberly very sweetly was like, mm, what, 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 what are you doing? Oh, Acorn, we're making a fudge. It is a peanut butter chocolate marshmallow fudge that is a family recipe that I've never gotten right. So we're going to see what happens. And then afterwards, we're going to make some toffee. Um, like this still is not rolling. I guess not. I've always been scared of burning, so maybe I just haven't cooked it long enough. So maybe today's the day. Um, but anyway, so last, last week I went to go chop things and Kimberly was like, oh, you're going to chop your fingers off. That's not the right way to do it. And she showed me the like knuckles way, which I will be honest, I've only ever seen on anime. <laughs> How often do they chop uh, on anime? Well, we watched Food Wars and they chopped all the time. Uh, anyway, so I, I mentioned this to Hannah the other day cause we were on a walk and I was like, I, you know, I, I felt like a little, you know, a little silly, a little embarrassed and like, well, of those things no. are all, I mean, I guess you like, I'm on camera and I'm doing this yeah. thing, but I also just like never learned. And there are certain things that are, yes, common sense, right? Of course you don't want to chop your fingers off, but I've just kind of always been a little. You have to be taught that. Like, I think I learned it from like Emerald on the Food Network. I was like, here's how to chop things. What's that? Well, and I just had never learned. And so then Hannah texted me this morning and said, I hope it makes you feel better. I just started chopping garlic for this thing and realized I also have terrible chopping techniques. Well, oh. right. oh, garlic is hard because it's tiny. That's true. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe. Um, but anyway, so I was, I was laughing and smiling, and Adam sees me smile at my phone, and he goes, what are you smiling at? And so I tried to explain to him the story. That looks We're really almost there. Oil. Oh, God. Okay. All right. You need the bubbles to get to the middle. Like, right. be coming from... Be coming from the middle. Okay. Oh, wait. So what happens when it gets to temperature? We turn it off? Or we, we turn simmer it down. We simmer it for six and a half to seven minutes. How long does it need to roll boil? That is a rolling boil. Now we turn it down. Okay. Immediately? Yeah. Reduce heat. It's 225. It's not quite hot enough. Well done. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't turn it back on. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Close, close, close. I don't know if it should like be a rolling boil for like a minute. Oh. And then turn it down. I mean, I am going off of the recipe that I have. It's handwritten on a card. This might be, oh, Code Man, gifting more subs. Thank you for the gifted sub. Lovely. Oh, also, gift her master of Harakis. Oh, boy. Thank you for the follow. Maybe this is as hot as the stove. I don't know. I'm going to go somewhere. So now since it's been a little more like that. Honestly, I don't remember. It's been long enough. Um, I'm just trying to diagnose what's been going no, on. No, I know. I know. It's probably that. It's probably that. All right. So I'm doing six and a half minutes. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so Adam was asking what was making me smile, and I started trying to explain the context. And he interrupts me and goes, no, 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 I'm going to stop you right there. You have terrible chopping technique. Oh, you, have, oh, oh, you have precious little tiny baby fingers. <laughs> and I was like, well, you're right. I can't. I don't I don't hold things on. I don't have, like, finger dexterity. That's why I was always bad at playing piano. I played for, like, eight years, and I was never quite right because I got chubby little fingers. You're also, you have smaller hands than me, and you're much taller. It's so my personality. Like like, like, I'm very, yeah. I've got teeny little hands. Codeman, look, it's been a rough end of the year. Just happy you guys and the peaches helping me through. I'm sorry, Codeman. Adam says she has nice fingies. Thank you, sweetie. Codeman, it, it has been a rough year, and I'm really sorry that it's been hard for you, but you know what? This community is a really, really good one. So it's definitely so nice. lean on us. It is really hard. Yeah, I hope the holiday season is she has nice fingies. <laughs> joyful for you. Holiday season especially can be really hard, I find. And 2023 is a new start. You're absolutely right. Yeah. What's your 2023, like, what are you, what are you thinking about for next year? Obviously, bringing a child in the world. But I just was like, that's like a little bit of a mirror. Oh, wow. I'm going to have one. Um, I don't know. New Year's goals stress me out. Jay, every year, wants to have, like, a New Year's discussion. And we used to do it over Peking Duck at Joe Shanghai. Oh. And he just always wants to be like, okay, like, what are we doing this year? 227. I'm just curious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm always just like, I don't know, what do you want to do? 
Um, because they don't usually think that far ahead. Yeah. And now I feel like um at least the next 18 years I have to really plan in advance. <laughs> oh. Well, and I feel like with a baby coming, there's tell me we're gonna have a good baby. Mm-hmm. You actually yes, this year we can have a meeting. Oh. Is he in high shoes? Yeah, Nick bought him and didn't need them. Okay, yeah. high shoe. CP? At that point's funny. That's cute. Adam, Adam, you want to come to the meeting? Adam actually, every year, it's his birthday on the first, right? So he always does like a reflection of the year. Oh. And that's sort of his like the year in the year in review is sort of Adam's style and I, by nature, we talk about it and we look ahead to the next year. Adam says he'll come to the meeting. <laughs> Wait, can I come? Okay. Yeah. Our steakhouse, here we come. What does it say? 227. I panicked that I didn't set the timer right. Did you set the timer? I did. We're good. good. Three and a half minutes left. Yeah. Uh, well, it will take minutes. Yeah, probably. Oh, okay. uh, hi, Quentin. We're doing good. How are you doing? We're making fudge. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you want me to handle this? It's sticky and gross. Yeah. yeah. I got you. I don't like to be sticky. <laughs> oh, I'm having a baby. It's going to be so sticky. Baby. are sticky. They're, they're sticky, sticky, but they're they so cute. cute. Although, with more like, I don't know, the, like the health practices that we're doing, maybe they won't get sick as often. No. But I work around children. They're all yeah, sick all the time. Yeah, that's true. Especially right now. Older, like, what's the youngest you deal with? So we have baby music class that starts at six months. But 18 months is the true, like, beginner class. For, it's a grown-up and me class. Okay. It's very cute. And then our oldest kids are, like, 10. So, yeah. They're all sick. Right now. Lovely. They've all got strep. Hand, foot, and mouth. Thank you for the resubscription. My internet connection is going in and out, but I'm trying to stay on as long as possible. You do what you got to do, Adam Ash. We are happy to have you either way. I'm going to measure out the three ounces so we can just add what's left. Okay. That's my game plan for, mm-hmm. for this. That's smart. Good job. Uh, thank you. I do. Love about marshmallow fluff is that they haven't updated the font. <laughs> and it feels very, like, it just feels like 50s. <laughs> Got like we a should be in a vibe. I like this texture. I believe I think that you do. So fun. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is measuring out three ounces because this whole thing is 16 and we need 13. Which again, very specific, but I am going to follow this recipe. Oh, oh my corn. Um, the first year is the right. hardest because it's the first year. It's all the firsts. Oh, all the firsts. Yeah. Well. Lean on this community. Okay. Will you share the flan pudding recipe? Oh, yeah. We asked flan last pudding. night, and Jay literally looked at me halfway through a bite and just went, Will you learn how to make flan? <laughs> All right. And I said, Okay. And also, halfway through my bite, I was like, I don't think I like flan. So <laughs> please count me like flan. Is there a marshmallow fluff festival? Oh, there is a marshmallow fluff festival in Boston every year. Wow. What do they do that there? It's like a sticky time. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's butter and sugar and evaporated. Is that how bubbly it usually is? Are you having it? Over? Yeah, the, the answer is maybe. Oh, we're at 2.30. Oh. How much longer do I have? We have 30 seconds, but it's it's six and a half to seven minutes. So we could leave it a little yeah. bit longer. And then we remove from heat, add chocolate chips, peanut butter, marshmallow cream. What do we need to do our cup, which I just <laughs> used for that. Oh. Okay. I just smaller cups. Oh, it's true. You do. Because never in the history of baking has someone not needed two one cup. <laughs> They're different substances. Mm-hmm. Although, where are my other... You know where your other cup is? No. Hmm. What time is Jay puts those things away? <laughs> I mean, I can do two oh, half cups. No, it's just right here and I couldn't see it. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. That's the timer. All right, so we can okay. do... Hmm. Hi, how you doing? Welcome. We're making fudge, and then we're making toffee. It's going great so far. We're going to see how we do. I have always failed at this recipe in the past, but I haven't made it in probably five years. 
So it's been long enough, and I've seen some things in that time, so we're going to hope that it's a okay. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, good. All right, remove from heat, and now we're adding all of this stuff. So we're doing a cup of peanut butter, 13 ounces marshmallow fluff, and then a 12-ounce bag, entire 12-ounce bag of milk chocolate, and then another 12-ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and specifically Nestle Toll House. Again, I am going exactly by the recipe for this because confectionery is about... It's pretty decent. Okay. All right. Here we go. Can I pop it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just doing it. Just wait till I get the marshmallow in there. Yep. Here. Okay. Oh, but that smells good. Mm-hmm. Well, Cormac just did another stuff. Oh, to pre! Yay! Theoretically, it will melt. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> In retrospect, a longer hand is best. Oh, yeah. The way to go. But we like the little ones. ones. Little ones are very cute. They're just, they're easier for getting stuff out of measuring cups. This is making me think, uh, you watched Parks and Rec. Right? Yeah. Of uh, Andy putting his <laughs> hand in the jar like a bear. Oh, yeah. Getting it stuck. Yeah, sure. That's what we get into. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's, that'll do. All right, and then apple and cheese. And this is a 12 ounce bag. Wait. All right, ready? Yeah. One. What are you not even ready? <laughs> Let me know if you want to switch. No, this is fine. Okay, good. As I mentioned, I haven't been getting exercise. That's what I think. We could go on lock. Yeah, my favorite thing. Because I also. I do like my workout classes sometimes, but like Mark Fisher fitness yeah. thing. But other than other than that, I have not been, and it helps me to clear my head if I just do yeah. like a nice low impact walk. That's what my therapist just recommended. Oh really? Okay. Going on walks throughout the day, or like just on the treadmill while it's cold. Yeah, I can. Sounds nice. So we could like get a get a tea or a yeah. nice hot drink or something, and go for a walk. Since Hannah and I don't live together anymore, that's that's how we socialize. Is we'll be halfway and go for a walk. Be nice. Just mentally preparing for the work week. Nice, Cade. Yep. How long do you have to work, Cade? Do you have to do the whole whole week? I do. Oh, Ray is here. Come. I think I missed some things in chat. Sorry, guys. If there's something important, <laughs> we're over here with our butts to yes, you. <laughs> and our sweatpants. Because it will get thick. Yeah. As what is like churning a cauldron. It is looking right. It's looking good. We're hopes hopeful. Do you want to get um a pan? Uh yes, that's a great I idea. I think the one under the orange is a nine by thirteen. Yeah, that'll be good, right? right? Okay. Oh, that has a nice lid. <laughs> and I love a I love a lid. <laughs> Now, we could throw parchment paper in here, or we could just throw it in, but the fudge tends to be pretty, like, easy to pull out. What do you usually do? Spray it at all? Or no? I mean, I don't usually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to... How do I stop for this? I don't know. Okay. Because it has... Just put a thing on top? Well, I'm trying to think. Also, we could do... Oh, just like a little, just like put a plate face down. Okay. See if that works. Is there any reason to cool it in the pan? Probably for a little bit before we put it, before we put it in there. Okay. Oh, wait, probably not before we put it in there. Oh, okay. So, 
Uh, but this this can handle the temperature change, right? It's a pyrex. Yeah, it's pyrex. Okay. Okay. It's a red right kind. No yeah. stove top, no broiler. I was about to say, well, let's see how hot it is. Here we really go. All right. So the goal here is not to get water inside the thing, but to make it so that we can do like a little cool bath. Um, and you're supposed to cool it in cold water until thick. I touched it because I said not. Oh, it's taste? not that hot. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, so maybe put it here still though. Yeah, no, I was just trying to see how deep to go. Oh, that's yeah. what I was more like because I want to do that before. A little more. Yeah. Well, I don't think that'll balance. So oh, wait, hold on. Let's do what's gonna be a. Yeah, that would trip it, and then I'm not worried about that. There we go. I'm like, what has stopped up the sink when I've been doing dishes? That's been annoying. Ah, there you go. A trip it. All right. I'm just going to do a quick wipe with a paper towel to make sure that there's no moisture in there. Because as we know, water will make chocolate seas. Oh, we can add the vanilla right now, too. Oh, just a teaspoon of it for a little extra flavor. Will do. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, man. Probably won't put the thing in, though. It'll be yeah, it'll help. Oh, yeah. It looks like it will thicken. Yeah. That's encouraging. Thanks. Yeah. Let's throw this guy into into the pan. Do you want me to hold and use scoops? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it really comes right out. Mm -hmm. Rock. Oh, about to step into a family Christmas party, but just want to take a pause for a second. I'm going uh -huh. to move this out of your sleeping. Really? Thanks. My fire department just drove by with Santa elves in the whole nine yards giving candy canes oh, out. Oh my god. That's a small town tradition. I love I fire trucks. Santa. Very cute. Okay. All right. This looks now. Perfect. Do you usually do any sort of like group it if you want to, but it doesn't need anything fancy. All right. Let's try and get it into this little cool bath here. That looks right. My heart. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, and it's not too hot, so I think we're good. She's in. Oh, I'm talking to you. I'm glad. That's it. That's the push. I was so worried. I was so nervous all week. Do you want some fudge licks? Okay. Okay. Oh, that. I am so happy that worked. I think. The likely scenario is that I didn't let it roll and boil mm -hmm. properly. And then probably when you turned it to simmer, you probably got nervous if it was still boiling, so you probably turned it down too low. Too low. Yep. For too long. Well, because I never know, like, mm -hmm. reduce heat, what that really means. My grandma told us that when they would turn it the train drivers would throw candy as they hopped through the town. That's so, That's so magical. That sounds like it's out of a Christmas movie. Express. Express. I love it. Okay. Let me get all the sticky out of the way, and then we can start prepping for toffee. That guy's so good. Clean it. Oh my gosh. I am genuinely surprised. Um, which, like, maybe isn't fair, because you're a good baker, and I've learned a lot since, like, you know, but, like, it makes sense that we were able to succeed here. I agree. But still, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> 
Although, now we're going to have a lot of fudge. I forgot how much those things are. That's quite a lot of fudge. Well, fudge is a really good present. It's true. Sarah, yeah. Do you want any fudge? Yeah. Okay. I'm just putting this sort of generally in that vicinity. Um, do you happen to bring butter? No. Didn't think of it. How much butter do we need? Two sticks. Two sticks. Can we use margarine? I don't know. I've never tried. Let's try it. I guess we can. Let's just Google that first mm -hmm. with my good friend. I'm almost 31. They've been doing this since maybe I was five. It's nice to see that it keeps going. That's beautiful, Code Man. That's really cool. I don't have any fun or, uh, whatchamacallits, traditions like that in my hometown. I think we were a little bit yeah, too... Yeah, you can make coffee with margarine. However, the delightful taste of toffee comes particularly to butter. Oh. So as an alternative, you may notice a slight change in taste. Well, we can use this butter and then compensate. And then compensate. Rest is there, butter. Maybe is there a way for us to think about adding flavor? Or like, what? Maybe we can add some vanilla. Yeah. It'll still be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. So we're doing... Toffee now, and again, toffee, we're, where's our nine by nine? Hmm. Oh, the, oh, I don't use that. Oh, what do you use? I use that, that I have out there. Oh, the thing that you have already out there. That I prepped. Basically, when I look up recipes, mm -hmm. I find one recipe that looks like the right ingredients. Right. Then I watch a bunch of videos, and I decide to do it differently. <laughs> so I use these ingredients from okay. Perfect Kitchen, uh -huh. but I do it the way I like watch someone on YouTube do it once. Then I will just <laughs> shut up and you can tell me what to do. I will be your chef. Okay. Figure out the math to give me a cup of butter. Okay, great. So this is this is a full stick, right? Yes. Or no, it's not. Oh no, it's not. It's like a stick minus, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon. Okay. <sighs> Reminders. Did my donation come through? I want to make sure. Oh. Did it? Because we don't get like a real notification, I feel like we miss them, right? Because it doesn't show up there. Yeah. It we... just shows up on our faces, and if we miss it, we miss it. All right, hold on. <sighs> Thank you for checking, as always. We we were like looking away from the Jay, did you see it? Jay! He has lost us. Oh, no. Um, The answer is them. I was trying to see just if like, it showed up PayPal? in here. I don't think it does. I think it only shows up on our face. All right. Um, the answer is, I'm not sure. Oh, yes, 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 it's here. Oh, oh yes, it did. Oh, Ray, Ray that's too kind. And Ray's sleeping. sleeping. Oh, honestly, yeah, it's probably me. He doesn't feel good. Um, he's sleepy boy. Yeah, Ray, I'm not sure what's going on with the notifications, and we'll, we'll work on that in the new year. That's one of our actual, that is one of our goals. Uh, it's to, we, like, Jay wears headphones, and so he gets oh, the sound, ding. but okay. we have our stuff pulled up. Right. Silenced. Because otherwise, we don't have, have a secondary a sound source. That makes sense. Okay, so we are going to work on some uh, some things like that yeah. for which is how the ding 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 originated is because he used to sit there uh -huh. and ding ding, ding for, us, for us, but he's asleep. <laughs> which no, it's fair. Happens. Mm. Okay, so we're doing two hundred and twenty six grams. Yeah. Real fun. <laughs> I didn't think it through, but you know. Anyway, I'm a couple of years. What is this? A third? Okay. There you go. <laughs> it's good. We're good. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sean's coming back because we're back over here. Okay. And then do you want the butter now? Add sugar, water, salt, butter. That's butter, okay. salted, so that's probably fine. Um, how much water? It's a quarter. Okay. So you want me to throw this in there? Yes. Where's my character cup? Your what? Character. Quarter cup. That word. Just quarter with a weird accent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try to do this without getting water on the fudge. Garage Queen says, I was joking. I didn't know Jay was actually sleeping. We're not sure if he is, but it's certainly possible. We just need this button. We need know. He's been working very hard. He deserves a, a rest. All right. And then did you do salt? Yeah. 
Well, sure, fine. Great. All right, so we're putting this on medium heat, bring to a boil, stir frequently, boil until 300 degrees. This is hard crack. So oh, great. So we're getting a little more hotter. Okay. We'll leave that up. And if you'll notice, that pot she's using, <laughs> Mama Lash just got me one for Christmas. It's actually bigger. It's this. I was going to say, is it like if my yellow one was round? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. And it's, it's so good. Beautiful. I'm so excited. I haven't used it yet. No, I haven't. Oh, I actually, it first. Oh, that was good. Okay, so guys, so what should I make in my, I'm immediately calling it a crock pot. My Dutch brain is Dutch oven. Thank you. Do you want to bake or do you want to cook in it? Because you could make bread. I was thinking bread, um, just because it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I so I do have the Yule party on Thursday. Did I ever tell you about this? No. Oh, oh. So my D and D friends um, are wonderful. Oh, code man. Curious question for you, ladies. What is your all time favorite dessert? That's a good question. It really depends on my mood and the day and the season. Okay. Oh no. Did I just break it. Oh no. Where did that come from? Oh no. Oh, oh, it's just that. Okay. Just covering the battery. Um, gosh, okay. All time favorite. No. I feel like for me, mm -hmm. around the holidays, yeah, it is fudge. Okay. Like this fudge specifically. If it's summer, ice cream. Ice cream a thousand percent. And specifically something that's Ben and Jerry's that's just like overindulgent, has a bunch yeah. of things in it. Like the tonight dough is my favorite, the peanut butter cookie dough. I love it. Uh gosh. Every time someone asks me about my favorite dessert, uh-huh. I just remember this dessert that Jay and I had. We had a dessert cheese plate on our honeymoon. And it was just the best thing we've both ever had. Oh my god. And I think of that to this day. Dessert cheese plate. What does that yeah. mean? What does that entail? Well, a lot of times in, like, fine dining or, like, French cuisine, cheese is the final course. Okay. But they, <clears throat> Disney, you know, disney it up. Right. And it was just, like, it was an around the world, I think, ah, cheese plate. Okay. It was, like, a little bit of everything, and then it went from, like, hard cheese to soft cheese. Mm. And at the end, they, had, they sprinkled chocolate over this ricotta. It was so good. I didn't talk about it all the time. And then we were back at Disney World like a year later, two years later with my parents, mm -hmm. and we were at a different restaurant, and that, it was our waiter, who we loved so much, and we were like, you have waited us a flying fish. And he was like, thanks. <laughs> he was very nice. Love that. That's fun. Ooh, gingerbread. I love mm. gingerbread. Mm. Yeah, I think ice cream or fudge, I think I, I do love like a good brownie. Yeah, like a really rich, yummy brownie. Yeah. I brought a bunch of cookies over yesterday from my, like, work cookie swap, and all of a sudden we hear from the other room, is this just a regular brownie? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he'd had a bunch of the cookies already. Oh. Okay. And I, I think it was just a new, the novelty. He loves a brownie. He loves a brownie. He loves banana bread. He loves chips ahoy. Oh, I have some very ripe bananas, so I do need to make a banana bread at some point. I actually also have some bananas from Sarah. She brought them up oh. to me. So I could make a, no, you wouldn't make a banana bread in a Dutch oven. That's silly. Yeah. That's silly. So should I make it in my Dutch oven, everybody? You could make. I'm, I'm, oh, you, you party. So there's this. Yes. Okay. So my DD friends are big nerds and they're wonderful and I love them so much. And every year they do a, do a, a Yule party that is like educational about like all of the sort of pagan uh, rituals and stuff that have to go with Yule. And the, and he has like, it's he's planned it out for years. So there's always like a different. Oh, there's just a little butter over here. So you can try and put it on this. Oh, okay. Um, like they're. They're always one of the, I mean, it's, it's incredible. So I'm going to make a Yule log, for me, which is what they requested of me. Um, but I could throw together something else, potentially, that might be. I think of like, and then I'm, we're going home to, to D.C. to see Bob and Barbara, Mama and Papa Lash, so I could bring things to them. That is looking like a rolling boil. That's a rolling boil. Well, that happened fast. Oh, this has a magnetic. Oh, yeah. I should get a candy one. I only have a meat one. This is both. I just have a thermometer. Pretty, like, you can put it on the side. I feel like the meat one, you can't. Oh. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. This is just a thermometer. <laughs> I feel like it shouldn't, like, touch the bottom, though, so I'm trying to oh, put okay. <clears throat> Is that too... No, like that. 
Maybe it, it takes a couple minutes. We'll see. Well, you know, <laughs> literally, basically, we just pour it onto that, mm-hmm. and then it's just an imperfect shape. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah. And then you let it cool for like a teensy bit, and then you pour the chocolate chips on top. Mm-hmm. And you do. Do we want to chop some almonds? Or do whole almonds? No. No. Okay. I don't know what it is about almonds. I don't always like them. Oh, okay. Like a slivered almond dessert. Gross. <laughs> or like sliver. Like my old boss, I'd have to go get his salads, and he always wants slivered almonds on his salad. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that sounds disgusting. Mm-hmm. I have no idea why that's true. Well, you also always love the flavor of almond, huh? Maybe it's just, yeah, the end. I like almond flavored things. Yeah. But I love an almond croissant. Fascinating. Well, that's really better. Like filled with almond cream. Like I love mm. French pan, which is almond cream. That is almond cream. But I don't like almond extract. Okay, well, that's a very specific. When I eat <laughs> too much of it and the smell of it, I can't stand it. The only time I've used it is those sugar cookies, actually. Which I also have to make some this week because I set a precedent with my super last year. I made decorated cookies for him and my porter and everything. And I uh, did like a little card and stuff. So now I got to do that every year. Yeah, that happens. That happens. That happens. That's the precedent the I set. I set. Mm-hmm. Oh. I wonder what would happen if you browned the butter first. Would it burn? You made brown butter toffee. Well, you could brown it, cool it. Like brown butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it out. Because I guess when you bake brown butter, it doesn't you further burn it. I'm just thinking of like, no, it's on the stove. But maybe. Or is this browning it? Is this why it gets nutty flavored? Because it's browning with the sugar. It's browning with the sugar. Oh. Anyone? Anybody? Scientists. Let's see. Around here, there's a store that has gingerbread ice cream for the holidays. Oh, my God. Carver says we will joyfully accept any leftovers. No, we did. Sure, you would. Yeah. They're well, in your way. I mean, brace yourself. I'm also going to Colorado afterwards to see my family. My sister's about to have a baby. We'll see if she has him while we're there or not. Um, but I could potentially bring goodies there as well. Although they do make a lot of goodies. My uh, little sister posted yesterday, she did a bunch of spritz cookies, Mm. and I figured out what that weird one was. Oh. It was one that looked a little bit like something inappropriate. It was an ornament. It looked like, like, once it was done, it had, like, the outer and the inner. It was, like, a little, supposed to be, like, a little Oh, no. That's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Oh, a subscription from you. Thank you for the thank you. Oh, and Fred did too. That's nice. The blood up donkey brain. Oh, you guys, it's so nice to see you all here. This is gonna be our last bake for this year because we gotta, you know, go do holiday family stuff. Um, well, on your next birthday, is that next birthday? year? Oh, that's true. Yeah, and I won't be here. I'm gonna be streaming. Birthday. No, I'm so well. Oh, yeah. That hasn't cool. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm ready to do. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Another bread? <laughs> I'm actually coming on that night. I'm flying in a, a red eye, so oh. I'll be arriving at like 5 a.m. the next morning. I know. But it it's just what needed to happen. Yeah. The price of plane tickets this year was insane. Outrageous. I know. We're like very twice as much as I'm going to my parents in that chase yeah. because we can drive. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the only reason we're going is because Jess is about to have a baby and it's like together and you know have some like core family time but yeah yeah no nope 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 I just I feel like toffee is a thing that you just have to be really patient with and I'm not good at being patient mm-hmm. same and I'm just like this should be done by now but I recognize that it's not but what's happening well the, but actually I, I remember it in... taking forever yeah, yeah and how long mine took yeah and it wasn't even getting to that exactly heart track stage and it's starting to change texture. It's starting to get. Yeah. Up. What's the temperature? 230. 230. My dad would make a dentist joke. Or he would. Yeah. All dads, you like. Oh, this is his favorite time of day, after all. Ellie's here. Ellie, we made fudge and we're making toffee now. You've been decorating? Love it. Those pictures? Yeah. Did you do those cool sticks? 
Didn't she show us sticks last year? Oh, yeah. Vaguely remember that. Vaguely. <laughs> My brain is a sieve. I just got a whiff of fudge. Yes. How's it looking? Is it... I mean, it's still very hot, but... But is it, like, set? Oh, yet? because there's no more water. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, it looks like it's setting. Okay, good. And we've officially made it to softball stage over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's at 239. Now it's at 240. All right. Okay. And it's starting to look coffee light. I'm just going to put ice in. Yeah, perfect. We can also just throw it in the fridge. Yeah. That is the, the end game. <laughs> oh, hi, Wizard Patrick. The lovelies are doing great. We're having a yeah. we're having a lovely time. Oh, Bantha, thank you for the gifted sub to Wizard Patrick. Thank you very much. Yeah, we are. We're just you know doing holiday bakes and preparing to uh, ice in the fudge. Yeah. <laughs> Where's ice in the fudge? Okay. Cool. Yeah, we're having a great old time. Oh yeah, that looks like it's coming along. Mm -hmm. It feels very sad. Can I see how it feels? Oh yeah. Fun. Mm -hmm. I like oh, yeah, it's so satisfying. It reminds me of honeycomb. Oh yeah. I've never tried to make honeycomb. Me either. Maybe you should try that in the new year. I feel like that's really close. Yes. We're close. So close. Is this exciting? Yeah. We want it to be pretty hungry. Hello from Berlin. Hello, Berlin. Yeah. What's going on in Berlin? Just staring at fudge in the sink. <laughs> oh, it's starting to smell real nutty and runny. Uh oh. Okay. It is very close. Yeah, can I see? Mm -hmm. We're almost there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know if we need a challenge from Berlin. Ow, that was hot. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it was hot. Did you stick your finger in? No, I tried to get the goop off. That's all. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, this really looks like honeycomb right now. Do you usually do temperature or do you do eyeball temperature? I don't really suppose it looks like. Fair enough. Okay. We should also like change to be more caramelly color, which it kind it of is doing. Yeah. And that is kind of what they say. It's like it'll feel like you're not doing anything, not doing anything, not doing anything. And then it's pink smell. Right? Yeah. Which is kind of exactly what's happening right now. Yeah. Can we leave it for a minute? Let it sit. Oh! We've spent. Have a thought. Okay. For a stir. And then we'll off the heat, right? Yeah. Oh, slapped it in. Really? Then we want to move Charlotte so she sees. You okay? Yep. Ooh. Can you get a spatula for mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. Just like Charlotte, it's fine. Yep. Uh. Sure. That's for flipping eggs. Oh. <laughs> I saw a spatula I grabbed. Let's separate it a little, which might be even larger, but, oh um, yeah. Probably fine. Okay. Sorry. Okay, okay. need to wrap, I guess. And then you just kind of 
grid. And, all right, so that's do do roof meat stir and vanilla. That is a part we missed. Oops. You want me to throw it on there now? And, no. Okay. I got it ahead of myself. <laughs> Which I am wont to do. Oh, should we just put it back? And stir in the vanilla? Yeah. Does it get separated weird? Oh, I don't like it. Just a little. Yeah. Garage Queen says, I may have to try fudge this week. It looks easier than I imagined. Just have to, I've always heard how difficult it was. Okay, Garage Queen, I think what happens with fudge is if you don't cook it long enough, then it doesn't set properly. And there are lots of um, fudge recipes out there that are like two ingredient, really simple. This one's more complex and like very specific. And there's lots of, it's like the marshmallow cream, the, the peanut butter, the chocolate, there's a lot to it. Um, so like if it's your first time making fudge, maybe go with a simpler recipe. Candy making is like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. See how it's split? Yeah. What should I do? Well, that has happened with caramel that I've seen before. Um, can I just kind of keep stirring? Or should I, with the heat? I don't know. I don't know. I'm inclined to say no, because it might burn more. Like, maybe? I mean, I do think that that probably is the margarine, because margarine has more moisture content. Yeah. So I feel like... Yeah, we probably shouldn't have it. measured it. We probably should have, like, instead of weighing it, should have done an actual it's measuring cup. Measuring cup. Okay, well... I'm tempted to like pour this butter off into something else. Okay. Right, let's see. Oh, will you use that spatula to get the bottom? Yeah, this looks disgusting. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. We'll see what happens when it sets. May I have? Mm -hmm. This is part of the stream where Kimberly wishes she was alone <laughs> in her own kitchen. Well, this is my own kitchen. Yeah. But not with me here and people watching. Just take a paper towel. I mean, it's the rest of it looks like it. Yeah, caramel. it's just like the, there's just like there's like a little it's just ring green. of yeah, it almost looks like a greasy pizza. I just don't want the greasiness to get in the chocolate, you know? Yeah. Entertaining the people. I'll be right back. Uh, so, let's see. Entertaining the people. Oh. Another thing we were going to try and do today that I ended up having to scrap because of multiple trips to the store uh, was dipping chocolate. Uh, so, or dipping pretzels in chocolate specifically. So, my mom and I used to use the little white chocolate candy melts and we would melt them on the stove and we would take big pretzels uh, like the big twisty pretzels and use a fork and dip them and let it like drip and then put it on a little baking sheet and put it in the garage and in Colorado the garage would be cold enough that it would set and it's this very tasty very simple little thing and then we would also take uh peanuts like roasted salted peanuts and do like a little clump and use a spoon and that's how we'd get sort of the last dregs of the of the chocolate um and it was this very like really really easy really simple thing but I remember like standing on a chair with my mom at the stove and we would do it together it was so cute um, so I was going to try and bring that for us today because there's a lot of time when things need to like set. And so I wasn't sure how our timing was going to be. Um, but the, 
the uh, gluten-free pretzels were nowhere to be found. And then also the candy melts were nowhere to be found, which those are everywhere in Colorado. So I just kind of assumed, but I hadn't tried to make it here before. Yeah. And so. And I've only ever seen them at Michael's or like Target. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen it. What is that? There's one up at 181st now. Oh. It's a small one though. Well, I, either way, it wasn't able to have me. I was like, oh, there's any white chocolate in the store. Like, I guess Christmas time, everybody's <laughs> taking white chocolate. No one likes white chocolate. Everybody keeps on saying. I, I only ever eat it for those those pretzels. Oh, they ever kind of do it. Can I confess something to you? Sure. Do you remember when we made, um, here, I'll bring this over here. Okay. Uh, remember when we made Rice Krispie Treats? Mm-hmm. And we put hot, or hot chocolate, white chocolate decorations on them? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we left them here? Yeah. Jay and I picked all the white chocolate off while we ate them. Yeah. And he was like, don't do this again. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so now you just kind of, although now, is it hot enough? Okay, yeah. So just put your chippy, chippy chippies all over the tippity toppities. You can just leave it. I don't know we need it. Oh, okay. Fine. I can't. Mm. All right. So putting it over the top, letting them melt. Mm-hmm. The recipe said to cover it with aluminum foil while it melts to let it like I don't know like block it. Fine. And I guess worst case, if we need to, we could throw it in the oven for a second. Yeah. Oh, that's probably fine. I mean, I can make a little tent. Oh. Set that here. How'd you do that? Try to pull. Okay, a little tenty tent. Yeah. Uh, did you want to add any sea salt, or is that after? After. Sure. Okay. So then you like spread. It's very satisfying. With here, we both use a little spatch. Oh, that's cute. Not quite yet. All right. And then this takes how long to set? Oh, it's pretty much already it's set when it's done. Good. I mean, the chocolate has to set, but... Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious about the... It looks really set. It's soft. Oh, sure. It goes to the sides. More like it doesn't look like it's goop, which... Yes. It's not goop. White chocolate rock. Oh, I've never seen, you. seen a bunch of divinity recipes. Which, is it similar to fudge? I don't know. Divinity candy? I don't know. It's like I've never never heard of it, I don't think. <laughs> My dad always liked white chocolate. And that was his favorite. We have someone who's a mm-hmm. chef here sometimes. I thought it was you, sorry, making candy oh. for mom and aunt sounds lovely. It really is a skill, which I don't have. No, it's kind of meringue divinity candy. Oh. Cool. You can make it in the microwave. I have no idea, but I One of the lashes in the Schmitz decorating their trees. Oh, I think Barbara's already done it. Barbara, am I right? I feel like I'm right. My mom has decorated a tree, and Jay and I decided not to. We've got our cardboard Christmas tree that Adam made for me last year, and we didn't, I mean, we, we put lights on it, and we've got a couple of non-breakable ornaments, but uh, the cat was really not cute. allowed. Cute. Yeah. I did, I got a, an ornament this year for Hannah and Libby and me. That's, I got it custom made, and it's a little, like, clear circle with like little um snowflakes and then the three of us as little like cartoon characters and like you know I specified like brown hair and like this layout and that kind of stuff and like we're just sitting around and it says chosen family at the top and then our names it's very sweet but I can't put it up because the kittens are gonna break it. Kimberly what did you mean you didn't do a tree both of you like have zero going on <laughs> says Papa <Bay> no watch <laughs> <laughs> haven't even gotten the box down to not that I have boxes. Oh, like tree, Christmas, okay, the, okay. like all my decorations. The decorations. It was like no. My parents came and they helped me clean out the house to make room for the baby. <laughs> and, and that was enough. Thank goodness. Yeah, I think we can. Isn't it nice? It is nice. It doesn't mm. end up melt. I think this would be a good thing for Charlie. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. 
You can trust us on this. Trust us. It looks cool. It looks fun. My brain is always over complicating things because I'm like, well, there, now we could do designs. And I'm just like, does it help? Yeah, it is. It's plenty. Yeah. The, m- m- me thinking that is over complicating it. Over gilding the teacup, as the okay. British Bake Off would say. I'm assuming that's some kind of British. Well, that is. Isn't it gilding the lily? Yes, gilding the lily is is the one I've heard before, but I I feel like I'm picturing somebody on Bake Off go, I'm gonna over gild that teacup. Hmm. Some of these aren't quite melted. No, but that's fine. I mean that's still tasty. Yeah. It provides some texture actually, since there's no no. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Oh, this is making me want to make those uh lacy yeah. cookies. Oh yeah, it's very similar. They're so fun. Mm. Very therapeutic. I know, you can just do it forever. Because mm-hmm. they just keep melting. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, you can do designs if you want. <laughs> well, I am gonna try so for the Yule log this mm-hmm. year. I am gonna try and make it. It could heat up spatula. Oh, I'm gonna try. That's very clever. I like it. <laughs> Harvest facts. No. I was ordering the Christmas honey baked ham, and yesterday the tree was decorated last week. I knew it. <laughs> Barbara, I can't wait to see your tree. I love your tree. And like, ugh, Barbara and Bob have the nicest fireplace. Oh, I love a fireplace. And just like putting a puzzle on the floor. PJs, oh, it's the best. Everything smells good. You got a really nice home. You okay? You want to make it a little different? Different sides, you know? I like it. Okay. Okay, shall we see salt? <gasps> sea salt. I love sea salt. Some other things, if you want sprinkles or something, but kind of just like simple. Yeah, go with sea salt. That'd be delicious. Yeah, take a pinch. Okay. Chubby fingers. This is fun. Yeah, this looks really pretty. So is yours. I kind of like the little ridges too, because then it's like you get some that are a little more. Mm-hmm. Yay! All right, so we'll see if the margarine gamble paid off or not. But yeah, we experimented. It did the thing. I'm sorry I did not want to ask if you needed butter. I have so much at home. I could have just <laughs> was like, what do you need for, for a toffee? And I was like, sugar and butter. You said butter? <laughs> I thought I did. Oh, I'd still oh, maybe. sugar. Oh, no. It's very popular. Maybe I, I, it. I also could have not sent it. I asked Jay the other day if pregnancy brain is real, and he just looked at me and laughed. I was like, do you think I have pregnancy brain? And he was like, yeah. I'm sorry. Words don't come to me. It's real great. I mean, it's entirely possible that you said that, and I just missed it, and or, or saw only sugar, and was like, yeah. Um, so, my bad if that was my... Uh... Okay, so we could put this in the fridge for the chocolate to kind of set. Might as well. Sounds good. There's room up here. In the breeze. Good. Mm. Want to make tea? Sure. We got special tea. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Uh, do you want the holiday again? Yeah. Okay. Spiced clay? I think I want that today too as well. So these are from Harney and Sons, special gift from Sawyer Tat Sarah. I don't spell this up without kidding. What? Oh no. Do you want to move the fudge? Okay. The fudge is on the fridge. Maybe you laugh. Anyway, Sarah gave us Harney and Sons. We've got a white Christmas, white tea, vanilla, and almond flavors, and then holiday spice black tea, which I'm feeling today. I feel like I think that's gonna be nice. Aw, you guys are being so sweet in the chat. I love it. What do you want to sip? Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe let's put this in the fridge. Yeah. That's usually, we always put it out in the garage when 
And in Colorado, so which is very cold. <laughs> so we frequently don't have room in the fridge. Okay. Hey. 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 Hello. Hello. Oh, Kitchenette Best Friends. Kimberly, I'll send you the recipe for my mom's flan pudding as soon as I've managed to read her handwriting and translate it from Portuguese. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. wow. I might have to ask my aunt for help. I can neither read nor write Portuguese. Wow. Someone will help. Yeah. I love it. From Gabe. We did. What was yeah. it? Gave out five community sub gifts. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. You guys have been so generous. Mug Kate energy. Or big Kate energy. <laughs> oh. Hmm? Uh, not entirely yet, although you could definitely lick a little bit of it. No, it's okay. I don't feel very good. I'm just, I might go to sleep. You should go to sleep. I thought you were already sleeping. No, I've been, I've been just watching. Oh. Hello, it's my mother. Oh, hi. And we made fudge. And toffee. And toffee. And they're setting. So now we're making tea. So now we're having tea and having a chat. Kimberly, I'm sorry about my joke where I said you didn't have the stuffs going on. I love you. You're super girl. I said it was a joke. That's exactly why we haven't put up a tree. <laughs> Don't you worry. Wait, what? You made toffee just now? Just now. What you? What did you think that was? So toffee. We where we boiled the stuff, and then we put it, and then we poured it on for a second, and just stirred with some vanilla. It separated a little. Perhaps he's joking again. But hi, mom. What you doing? Oh. <laughs> just hanging out. You know what? I support that. That is very fun for our stream. Sometimes. Ever. We still need to figure out what you're going to make in your... Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, wait. That's a good question for my mom. Mom, Amanda just got a lot of Dutch oven? I did. It's beautiful. It's, it's big. It's real. It's real. It's real. A nice. round one. So what should she make first? So my instinct is always... Could be good. Problem is... You have roasted chicken? That's very intimidating. I've never roasted a chicken. Oh, you roast everything. Okay, I could do that. I'm trying to think, like, <laughs> just picturing like the holidays at my mom's house. I'm like, all right, which is in which pot? Hmm. <laughs> so I feel like her first thing is going to be rice. She loves rice. <laughs> rice in a Dutch oven. Yeah, she has a little one with a handle. Oh, uh, okay. Barbara and I were talking about the handle today. Uh, she was asking. Amanda just got a La Crusade Dutch oven. And it's the same size as your blue, like your big blue one. So we're trying to figure out something fun for her to make. I want rice pudding, says Kate. Oh. Do you have rice pudding? I guess I don't know. I'm trying to remember if I've had it. It's kind of cold, right? It's like yeah. a cold It's like rice. rice pudding, but rice. Is that correct? I feel like I've tried it. Ellie, a Dutch oven. Oh, yeah, short ribs. A Dutch oven is just like a pot with a lid. <laughs> yeah, but it's but a heavy bottom. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, oven, you can make bread in it. And there a lot of bread recipes say... Put in your Dutch yeah. oven. Although last um, I just started making a bread thing specifically. Oh, really? That's what I just said, Mom. A roast chicken. All right. That's, that's a compelling argument. I mm -hmm. have never tried that before. Mm -hmm. Anything you can slow cook. So anything you would do okay. in a crock pot, you could do in the Dutch oven. Fair enough. And Julia you... Child, beef bourguignon. Have you seen Julia and Julia? I mean, yes. Yeah. Oh. oh, I had no idea. I thought it was like a little like... I mean, kind of. In its own way, I think the idea behind the bread, and correct me if I'm wrong, you or anybody out okay. there, um, but it's that the like you're you're sort of creating a smaller oven oven within the oven for mm -hmm. the bread, and that does something to the distribution of the heat, but also the moisture. Yeah, because then you put ice cubes in with it. Oh, like so you put it in parchment paper, and then kind of below the parchment paper, uh -huh. put ice cubes in it. So and then it steams, steam and so you steam it with the lid on oh, that's for like great. half an hour, and then you take the lid off, and then you let it brown. That sounds fun. Yeah, I, I think I do want to try bread first, just because that sounds fun to me. Yeah. But, I mean, I make a mean turkey chili. You've tried my chili. 
See, I'm, I love that chili. I've just made that on the pot, in a pot on the stove, but I could make that trapping the moisture inside too. That's what I was thinking overworked. I mean, anything you use a pot for. Fair enough. I'm trying to become, <laughs> like inhaling wrong. No. I'm trying to become better at cooking. If I, like, I, I started doing HelloFresh, not sponsored content, but just to try and, like, I always forget the tea makes that noise. Um, stews and soups are really good in the Dutch oven. Well, mm -hmm. it's even turkey chili in the Dutch oven. I do make a really good turkey chili, so I'm going I'm to try that in the Dutch oven. That's a great idea. Oh, I like that mug. Thank you. Where is it from? Starbucks. Hawaii. All right. Okay. Right. So this tea smells very familiar to me. I need to look at what's in it. I see black tea, orange peel, safflowers, vanilla, clove, safflower. almond flavor, cinnamon oh, flavor, flavor, orange flavor. I really like it. I like it smells like this one tea at Davis Tea. Mm. Chocolate and chili. What? Oh, yeah, that's a thing. I like think. cocoa powder? Wait, what did my mom say for Christmas Eve? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, beet bourguignon or beef mother? Oh, for Christmas Eve. Don't think I can tell bourguignon. I like however you I spelled it. Now, I mean, we got it. I think that's, that's all you need. And cinnamon rolls and chili. Interesting. Well, cinnamon and chili I've had before. Yeah, but it's warming. With chocolate. Well, chocolate is a similar thing. That's interesting. Yeah, like cocoa powder. Oh, your mom says beet, not beef. Oh, you've made beet things before. What do we think? It's not expired till January, but now I think it's fine. This is the one time. <laughs> the... God, that's traumatizing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, do you want any? Take a moment. Thank you. You're welcome. My turkey chili recipe has chocolate. Fascinating. <laughs> it's an abominable. Oh, yeah. I'm a vegan, remember? Yes. Oh, right. Yes, we were just discussing what to cook on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and you've got a vegan. Got it. My sister. So there's a vegan and a gluten free. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. <laughs> well, my mom's going to make a turkey because I didn't get to have turkey on Thanksgiving. Oh, nice. Um, because Mother Jay's uncle made ribs. Right. Which was great. And then I had food poisoning or so something. And I, I don't know. I was very sick. And so I didn't eat anything. Wow. Uh, what do you get when you cross awesome. a snowman with a vampire frostbite? Delovely. 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 Delightful. Delicious. That's, that's a solid, solid joke. I'm terrible. What was a pizza on Christmas Eve? It's fun. We're someone just asked me if I had like Christmas Eve food traditions, mm. and my answer was no. Because <laughs> really, mom, I don't think we do. It's like different every time. Ah. Yeah. One year, my mom made short ribs and this like was it beets and pearl onions or just a pearl onion situation? Hmm. I don't know. It was really good. Cool. <laughs> we went through a short rib phase at the Cooper household. Love that. They were like, so much so they were on the menu at my wedding. What did you eat at my wedding? Do you remember? I'm sure I had a short rib. Probably. Yeah. That tracks. That's that's my style. I was like, short ribs are chicken or salmon. Oh, so cast iron is a little different though, Ellie. Versus Dutch oven. Well, it is cast iron. It's just enamel. It's just cast iron. Okay. But it's enamel. <laughs> that's the difference. Yeah. It's like enamel so that you don't have to season it. That's what it is. But it is I still cast iron. iron. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Weird question. We usually have a Christmas yeah. dinner. I always thought it was turkey. The traditional Christmas dinner, I think, is like, I mean, is the, the Grinch one is roast beast. I feel like there's a it's turkey roast. everywhere else, but because we have turkey on Thanksgiving, so close to Christmas. Mm, maybe there's like Christmas ham. There's like people do ham, roast. Yeah, short ribs and chicken parm. Right, that Ooh. was a good one. Ooh. Yum yum. Yeah, I mean, Bob texted me the other day and said, if I got a turkey for just us, would you want it? Like, Bob, you know I will always eat turkey. But, like, we, I don't need it. It's just what we got. Sam, we've got all the things. Yeah. 
Oh, will Barbara not do turkey? No, she, she, okay, it's just not her favorite. And like Adam will eat it, but just it's not his it's favorite. Good. And they they both prefer ham, and you know it's fine. It's just I thought ham was Easter. Is it? I don't know. We always did ham on Easter. We always did lamb kidney stew on Easter. So uh, different, 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 different folks. Folks. <laughs> There will be turkey and ham mm. at your home. Yum. Polish Christmas Eve. Thirteen dishes on the table. Ham is Easter. Ham is Easter. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Ham is for all times. Yeah, I don't like ham, so I just only know that I have to avoid it at Easter. Got it. I think now I'm better at it, but... I like ham. You did say lamb kidneys. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. My grandmother. So, I think... Is it a German thing? Did Aunt Ham do seven fishes, Mom? I was thinking that, too. Mm. Which is the Italian Christmas Eve. Mm. Seven different fishes. Interesting. I can't say I recall seven. But... Yeah, Wait. lamb kidney stew. It was actually a really good stew, just the lamb kidneys in there were a little something. She would make really good biscuits with it. The biscuits were great. Oh, Love a biscuit. And then we would use all of the, so we'd do Easter egg hunts, and we'd do hard-boiled eggs, and then we'd all hunt the hard-boiled eggs, and then use them in the stew. Like, that was part of the tradition, is that we'd have to find them all so she could, like, shell them and put them in the stew. My dad still makes it. My my grandparents are no longer with us, but it is it is still a family tradition. Hey, yeah, interesting. Uh, yeah, and then it for a while it was like a litmus test if you were to join the family, if you were a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or you know you had to eat it. So I made sure Adam never came home for Easter. <laughs> Ever. Is Easter like a go home for? No, but I just look for excuses to, yeah. you know, see that's family. Right. And, like, that's one where, like, my aunts and uncles would come, you know, and my grandparents and stuff. And it's not a, no, it's a family holiday for my family. Like, they, they get Adam. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, baby. I got you. Never going to have to eat that. But ham is the thing you need on the Christmas table. See? Maybe uh-huh. Christmas ham is a thing, too. Christmas ham? That sounds like a thing. Yeah. Yeah. We do, because my uncle is a chef. And so he mm-hmm. cooks on Christmas, and he does um, a filet roast oh. and a side of salmon. Ooh-hoo. And it's the, the best. Mm. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah. And my grandma makes perfect potatoes that I have now tried to replicate many times. It's just like a bag of French onion soup mix. Yeah. On potatoes. <laughs> sure. Sounds good. And she makes grandma's green beans, as we call them, which is just like slightly overcooked green beans <laughs> and a lot of butter. And it's perfect. I love that. Sounds funny. Culinary inclined family members is yes. a game changer. Crazy. My little sister going to culinary school was the best thing that ever happened to us. She's so good at cooking now. It's amazing. Turkey is traditional for Christmas Day, but we always did lasagna and chicken parm when we were young, but now a side of salmon and filet roast. Oh, so there you chicken go. Chicken parm and lasagna. I remember chicken parm happening on Christmas Eve a lot, too. Mm. We would do a stew. We would do like a, a really good hearty stew on Christmas Eve because we would have mm. family come over and we'd all be going to sing at the church at different times. So it was oh, like one of those things where we couldn't like plan like a big sit down meal. Yeah. Really, or if we did, it was kind of like, so having a soup was an easier version of that than trying to like. That makes sense. Have and everyone can like eat when they can. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what we did for Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day was just lots of bagels in the morning. And then I think we would do a Christmas ham sometime. Is the chicken parm thing serious? Why wouldn't you completely you understand East Coast and Italians? We love our chicken parm. Chicken parm's delicious. Yeah. Why not? Happy Hanukkah, Slappy Dan. Happy Hanukkah, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the sun down? Oh, yeah. Is it? Should we get a candle? Do we it? <laughs> think so. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I'm careful of a light. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Do you need help? No. Okay. I think I know where they are. All right. So, fun fact. Lock. What? I asked my dad if oh. making latkes today. Dad, are you making latkes? Papa Panda says, I just feel cheated. I could have been getting chicken parms this whole time. Yeah. Ellie says, when does the sun go down in NYC now? Honestly, it's been going down like yeah. 445 lately. It's really early. So, yeah, it's fully down. And your dad says yes. Oh, jealous. Ooh, I've been in crock pot lasagna lately. Crock pot lasagna? Yeah. Fascinating. I would have never thought to put that in the crock pot. Do you want me to hold that for you while you get something out? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no. Okay. Um, how about I just grab? Oh, no. 
Yeah. Industry stand that I'm not using. I feel like this is going to be the thumbnail. It's just me holding a Christmas stand. Okay. Yeah, Fun fact, growing up, or no, early on, when preschool, my best friend was Jewish, and I, you mean to grab that again? Sorry, I'll go back. Um, so my best friend was Jewish, and I didn't know what Judaism was, and I, because I grew up in a very, like, the bubble. We, we did not have a lot of, um, you know, diversity in my world. And so since she was Jewish, she told me about Hanukkah and her traditions and all these things. It was right around Christmas time. And I got so confused that Santa doesn't come to her house and, and got really sad about it. But then she told me all the things about Hanukkah and about, you know, some of the culture. And I got so excited and came, went to my mom and said, Mom, I want to be Jewish so that I can be Jewish with Elena. And my mom was like really, really sweet about it. My mom is very open minded. And she, she was like, you, you absolutely will be able to be Jewish if you want to be. But we just need to learn a little bit more about it. And that stuff she's tried to be really like tactful. And I was really mad. I wanted to be Jewish like my best friend. That's um, so funny. They, her family was so nice. They invited me over for all the things. I remember Latkes at their place. They We were friends for a long time. Yeah. My friend Michelle would always come over on Latka night. Oh, my God. She would be like, when, when is the Latkes? <laughs> we don't know. All right. Okay. So I need you. to buy some more candles for the rest of the week. Um. There it goes. Pretty. Yeah, it's dark. Nice. Look at that. See what you gotta do. Yeah. Thank you. Here, let's light her. Yeah. That's because I don't have a lighter in here, so. Oh. Thank you. Oh, Codrim, thank you for the gifted subs. You are so generous. My goodness. Thank you. For the gifted subs. Happy Hanukkah. Hi. Can I answer for more of these, Mom? Yeah. Um, I don't know the prayer, okay. but I'm... I don't either. I'm so I, sorry. All I say is, I don't know. I'm looking at you, Mel. That's all we got. Then I'll light it. Ta-da. You know, this is where I feel very... It's very sacred about, like, fire. And I... Yeah. Like, they're, they're... Like, this sort of cast a little bit of a... It's a magical it's feeling. It does feel magical. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, your dad says you did it perfectly. Hmm. Thanks, Sam. Oops. I mean, nothing like parental approval on holiday traditions. Yeah. Um, my sister's having a Hanukkah party on Wednesday. Oh, really? And she texted me a picture today of potatoes. <laughs> She's like, Hanukkah's? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. I love latkes. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite thing. Yeah. I love brisket. Yum. Yum. My uncle, who's a, who used to be a chef, also brisket. Perfect brisket. Really good. I made brisket during COVID, like during like the first mm. like two weeks when we were really all alone. When everybody was doing sour. Yeah, because I think it was, <laughs> fell over Passover. Did it? Oh, yeah, it would have. Maybe like it the first totally month fell over Passover March. to April, and then I went, mm. we moved to the beach in April. Oh, my gosh. In Sweden, wait, hold on. Uh -huh. In Sweden, we have a 4 a.m. candlelight and, oh, no, 4 arm. I thought it said 4 a.m. I was like, oh, my gosh. Forearm candle light and light one candle each Sunday. Advent. Today is Advent. 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 Yeah. Oh. Between you guys and Jay, I think I may start streaming again. COVID. Yay, absolutely should. Absolutely should. Hello from Berlin. Oh, from Berlin. Back from Berlin. Oh boy. Latkes and brisket are two of my favorite foods on the planet. So yeah. crispy. They're the best things. Yeah. And then what did we do? Did we somehow make a latke sandwich? With what inside? The brisket, maybe. Oh, I okay. no, got real creative when we had that. That sounds great. Oh no, I just went to Friedman's. Do you know Friedman's at the Edison? I mean, the seventh restaurant. Yeah. Um, they do their um smoked salmon eggs Benedict mm. is on top of a latka instead of. I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, that's. And it's real good, Dad. You should have that mm. one day. It's just. I love Friedman's. Carrie used to work there. Oh, oh. waitress. Yeah. I go to, Sage and I go there all the time. Oh, I love Friedman's. Well, most things are gluten free. That's, Their pancakes are gluten free. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And they have gluten free bread and stuff. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's delightful. We decorate the four armed uh, candlelight with dry moss. So good with fire. Oh, cool. That's fascinating. Send pictures. Yeah. Ellie, I love that you share so much of your picture mm -hmm. with us. It's so fun. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> is, it, is that a sarcastic good with fire? Because it does sound like quite a hazard. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That, uh... Yeah. I was like, yeah, we'll cooperate well with Hawkard. Well, that's why, like, menorah candles burn really quickly, I think, so that you don't have to go to sleep with the candles still burning. That's smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I left a candle burning the other day uh, while Jay and Adam were there. It was just like, I left yeah. I left the apartment and had this moment of, and I had to text Adam and be like, she left a candle and burning in the living room. It's my biggest fear. Nick was over and I got distracted. He and I were chatting as I was walking out the door and then I heard him going out. He's the nicest person. Nice person. My Hanukkah present was the Eagles won and the Cowboys lost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, overworked. It was indeed divine. Did you? Mom, tell me if I know this story correctly. Oh. So, traditionally, you get a present each night of Hanukkah. Right. And then we also had Santa. Right. And one year, it was just decided that no more Hanukkah presents. And I think... It was the same year that I found all the presents in my mom's closet. <laughs> and so I tried, and I have a bad poker face. Oh, and I opened a present, and I went, this is upstairs. And then we stopped playing on the clothes. Wah, wah. Yeah. Aww. So, I don't know if that was true, but that's how I remember it. But I was just talking last night. Mom, it's in my Amazon cart, unless you still have it. Uh, oh, Code Man just says, my goodness, where are my manners? Kimberly, I just saw the crowd work before. Congratulations. Thank you. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. For those of you who are not in the know, Kimberly's <laughs> pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> well, mom and dad, <laughs> surprise, just kidding, they know. <laughs> they're very much aware. Yeah, it's, <laughs> this is the review. Imagine. Uh, no, they're very much aware. Yeah, no. Oh, well, thanks, dad. <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? I love that your parents are here. That makes me smile. <laughs> oh, and um, I was just talking about and put in my Amazon card because I was like, next year I'll have a baby to teach about Hanukkah and Christmas and all the things. Oh my god, we get to do anything now. We're so excited to figure out what our Santa is all about. We've already decided no elf on the shelf. No, we don't have our energy. Yeah, in the year, it's a consistency thing, and also it's a little bit. I don't know. Creepy. Weird. It's weird. Yeah. Ugh. We were out to dinner with Jay's cousins, and one of them teaches fifth grade, and she was like, yes, one of my kids just said something about what their elf did and how funny it was, and then all the kids had to go, should we tell them about the elf? Oh, <laughs> that they still thought it was real. Oh um, but my favorite holiday book growing up was Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. I can't say that anyone else did. But, um, but Mom, do you still have a copy of Herschel? And I don't even know that I've read it recently. Oh, thanks, Mama Panda. Oh, well. Yay. Yay. Uh, wish list. Yes, but I I don't know what we need yet. We have a small house. We're going to figure it out. But we'll, it's be something fun. will go up on the Discord. There will be an opportunity for you because to contribute. Because you are I understand that you all that want to contribute. Want to spoil the baby. This is very sweet. Which is very nice. But overwhelming in my brain. Just fair. Yeah. Right now, lots of things are overwhelming because there's a lot of true ones. Very true. There's time, and we'll spend time. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Yes is all we need. So it's fan that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Lutefisk. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. I like that. Is. Happily eat if someone else makes it. I'll never make it myself. Isn't that the... Is that the fish in the salt? Oh, like the little bitty one? I don't know. That sounds familiar to me. The peaches really set our baby Russian meat. Kimberly, how are you feeling so far? Oh, I'm okay. I'm just, you know, fine. I was tired a lot, and then I was a little bit nauseous, and then I got really sick. And a lot of nauseous. And now I'm feeling better. But now I'm, like, stretching and yeah. growing. And so there's growing Your pain. body's having to accommodate. Yeah. yeah. So every once in a while, there's just a weird little pain that is apparently... Um, round ligament pain. Hmm. Your mom says, I'll put the Hanukkah books with the Christmas ones. It'll still be Hanukkah through Christmas. Oh, well, that's true. There. Nice. So will there also be latkes on Christmas Eve? Oh, Deb. Mm-hmm. My dad makes the best latkes. I've never gotten them as good. 
I feel like that is a real skill, mm -hmm. making good laws. I've heard that a lot. It's the consistency, yeah. too, of, like, which gr like which grater you use. Okay, so some like people prefer love. more of, like, a mashed potato inside. Some sure, people sure. like more of a hash brown. I do love a potato pancake. Well, that's not potato. No, no, no. Like, uh, so you, it's leftover mashed potatoes. Oh. So it's when you have, like, too many and you get to, like, the day after. I've never had too many mashed potatoes. Throw in an egg. Mix it up and then Ooh. basically do it like a pancake. I think it's just egg. Probably. I think so. And then and then you just make it like a pancake and it is kind of like a lot of cup. There's not oil involved. So it's a little bit. So you don't fry it. You do. Yeah. I think you do it with butter. Oh, okay. So I've, yeah. Yeah, Alaska is fried because it's Hanukkah and so oil is the theme. Which <laughs> makes more sense. sense. Yeah. Oh, mom and dad, okie dokie donuts. Has uh, gluten free jelly donuts for Hanukkah. Nice. So we should get those. <laughs> I love a jelly, jelly donut. Mm -hmm. Check on the fudge. Yeah. I know that it's not been that long. Go no, look. Period. I'll move them more. I mean, it's a little bit warm. Ooh, but that is such. That is such. Look at this thing. Do you want to cut in? I do. Okay. It might not be like perfectly set yet because it's still a little warm. But the toffee's also probably done too. It just needs the chocolate just needs to be hard. Oh yeah, it's definitely ready. Can it balloon at all? No, we're good. Yeah. All right. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Jaybird, if you want fermented fish. Oh. Interesting. Jay might be asleep. This is the smallest piece of fudge I've ever seen. Well, I'm trying to, I don't know what texture it's going to be. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if it was going to. No, that works. That's fudge. Fudge! We did it! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Ooh. So it gets a little bit more, mm -hmm. like, congealed. Like, it, yeah. when it sets better. Not congealed. Well, like, tomorrow morning it'll mm -hmm. be perfect. Is Jay asleep or does he want to come in? Jay Bird? Jay! Do you want a fudge treat? Fudge? Toffee? No, we couldn't find pretzels. Oh, no. Yeah, those didn't you happen. Want toffee? I'm sorry. Want to talk? Your mom says bring some home for grandma. Oh, no. You're welcome. Happy Hanukkah. I oh, no. Your hair looks great right now, though. It's doing a really fun. He's got a good bed head. Yeah, he does. Okay, it's breaking nicely. Yeah, you're just gonna great right this. Yeah. Maybe I do want a piece of the fudge. <laughs> it's gonna taste good. Yeah. Well, the top is killed it. It's not fully set yet, so it's a little bit soft, but. It will set further. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. Sea salt's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Isn't it fudge good? I mean, I know it's not my favorite, but. Yay. I'm proud of yourself. I'm really proud of myself. I'm. It's never worked. It's never worked. Mm hmm. And that's. I must have overboiled it when I tried fudge the one time. Yeah. So, over it got too hard. Yeah. Uh huh. Now we know. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay, so here's my little. Mm -hmm. So I I've always had weight issues and like body image issues mm -hmm. since mm, jump. I really like as a young kid was told I was too chubby and oh yeah, um yeah my first diet started at age ten. Oh yeah, <laughs> so bad. Anyway, um she's always been a little bigger. That's all. But you're tall. True. Um you know I've always been like ninety nine percent true in all things. Anyway, so as a kid. I loved fudge. The but nineties were rough for body and they really were. Um, but they had to be um so okay. But fudge was the thing and we, we were like limited to how much fudge we were allowed to have because it is very, very rich. Mm -hmm. And as a child It's four and a half cups of sugar. It's so much. And it's peanut butter and marshmallow. Like and it's very even having it right now, I'm like, Well, that's very rich. I can't have more than yeah. a little bit. But as a little kid I would sneak out and I would like shave off just a little piece and like skulk away and I would do that like seven times an hour. Yes. 
<laughs> I loved it so much. I'm so oh, fudge, fudge is my little, uh, I don't know, guilty pleasure, but I'm not, I don't feel guilty about it anymore. You shouldn't. A little kid, I felt guilty, but that's no. that was some relationships to food that I'm working therapy. Yeah, I I love this recipe. It's really fun, and I'm so thrilled that it worked. And it is better than the like just sweetened condensed milk and chocolate fudge. Yeah, it's it's richer, it's more interesting, and it's fluffier. Yeah, like it's a better texture. That mm -hmm. fudge is very dense. You this and and when it is obviously right now, it's still a little bit like cloud like yeah so a little bit what's the texture of cake fluffy cakey marshmallowy well but it's it's gonna stay like that it's just it's easier to like slice yeah you can make like little squares of it like right now it's a little bit formless i yeah. guess <laughs> um but yeah i uh but it's not soup it's not soup it's not soup yeah what's happened in the past is i put it in the fridge and it's just gone like there's been like a film and then like soup that tastes delicious and you can kind of like scoop it and eat it which I did. <laughs> and then ultimately gave up and threw it away. My sister went through a phase so talking salted where she could just... Licorice part. Huh? They're talking salted licorice. Mm -hmm. I do not care for licorice. licorice. No way. No. And, and like licorice root in tea, like what makes the throat coat? Mm -hmm. Blah. Blah. Absolutely not. Stay it. Loves it. <laughs> not to yuck your yum. But it's our show. It is. Our game. Okay, sorry. You were saying your sister. Oh, no, my sister, like, five times in a row was trying to make brownies, and they wouldn't set. It would just be, like, a film and goop, and it was, like, a box brownie. And I kept being like, what is happening over here? How? I don't know. I watched her make it. It was weird. That's really interesting. I was convinced, like, she didn't turn the oven on until she put the brownies in or something. Yeah, like, didn't preheat it. This was in, like, we were in high school, oh. so I have no idea. Interesting. Yeah. And then one time she tried to make, uh, I'm just talking about my sister, she's not here to defend herself. Um, but if my parents are still here, they'll appreciate that Allison was trying to make dad's breakfast potatoes, oh. which is like canned sliced potatoes. Okay. With like fried up super crispy. Mm. They're like my favorite thing. Now Allison doesn't like them, but I think it's because she tried to make them one time mm. and she didn't heat up the oil before she put the potatoes in. And I came over and I was like, and she's like, these aren't browning. And I was like, the oil's cold. What are you doing? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Ugh. It's those little tricks that you, that you would never tell them. If you can yeah. then what do you... Yeah. Oh, at 15, I was like, you down done? What are you doing? Okay, this says, I need to eat more licorice. There's so many strong emotions. I'm missing out on the human experience. Yeah. I I feel like licorice is a very divisive flavor. So what does it... A salted licorice. Is it black licorice with salt? Or is it a Twizzler? <laughs> Hold on, on it, Whistler. <laughs> mm. It's not the best thing in the world, but I can enjoy some salt licorice. But I'm, I'm very confused. In a separate flavor, black licorice with salmiak. Hmm, I don't know what that so that is. Sol salmiak. I have to order mine from Finland. I'm gonna look up salt licorice. Yeah, I'm curious. I don't not curious enough, curious enough to try it. I no. Don't think. <laughs> I don't think it's for me. Double salt licorice. It's okay. black. Yeah. Salty, Salty black, licorice. black licorice. Okay. I mean, it does improve a lot of things. It's The, the toffee is actually going to have a little more toffee. Good. Maybe I'm hungry. The only thing that's happening because of, like, the margarine splitting a little is the chocolate's kind of falling off. Yeah. So it's not as... Yeah. Which that maybe also could have been because I put it in the freezer and didn't let it set. That's um, fantastic. Good deal. Patience. But, I mean, the, the flavor is fine. Which, that's what I was worried about, is that the flavor wouldn't be good, but it's fine. Yeah, no, it's great. That's baby. Mm. Um, what is that Swedish mm. store, West Village? That I keep telling Ellie I'm going to go to. What? Soccer bit closed. The Swedish candy store in the West Village. What? Uh. Oh, no. I wonder if they have any other ones. Oh, Bon Bon NYC. I don't know. I don't know, but that made me really sad. <laughs> hmm. All right, guys, I think we made it to the end. Yeah. We successfully did a holiday bake. Honestly, actually, we did. We, did. we succeeded. Even with a, a butter improvisation.
Improvisation. Improvisation. Mm-hmm. 130 Allen Street. Mm. Okay, there's another one. <laughs> Ellie says, wait, they closed down Bon Bon? No, they closed no, down... No, they closed down Soccer Bit, which is the one that I've always thought of. Christy is driving down the five through Bakersfield and surrounded by traffic and cow poop. What? That sounds unpleasant. Sorry about that. 130 Allen Street, New York City. Is in the village somewhere? Maybe World Market yeah. would have salted the grish. Maybe. Makes sense. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's where it came up when I Googled it. That World Market has it. Are you? Haribo Pirates are black salty licorice. Fascinating. Yeah. Oh, this one is in the East Village, up by Beauty in Essex. Mm. Um, you can take a long walk. Yeah, very long walk. Very long walk. Actually, kind of near where my sister works, so. Oh, nice. You know her. I don't think I knew that. Oh, well, she runs an artist's gallery, so she's not there every day. Okay. But they, or not gallery, studio. I just didn't remember that it was in the city for some reason. Yeah, she lives in Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just, oh, I've forgotten that somehow, I guess. Now you're they're salty licorice. They love it. What can you say? All right, you guys. Well, thank you for thanks for coming. Our this adventure this year. Yeah, 2022, the start of Kitchen of Best Friends. Wow, well, we did it. In 2023, more. We'll be bigger, better, better with better sound. And we're gonna figure out our seats now. <laughs> and that is island cabinet <laughs> for reimbursement. Yeah, we should figure that out. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, we're going to have big, bold new plans, and we're looking forward to baking with you again in 2023. Yeah. Hope you all have good holiday seasons. We'll see you in the new year. Yeah. And with you know, new bakes. See you on the Discord. Yeah. Thank you all. And there. Bye. Bye.